Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to build a Docker image for an Angular app served by a Node.js backend. So first, I want to talk about a photo structure. I have a client folder, which has my Angular project. I have a server folder, which has my Node.js project that serves the client. So the client project is called Tutorial. If you look at Angular JSON, the project name is called Tutorial. And the build, the option, output path is called a dist slash tutorial. So when I run ng build under my Angular project, it will build everything into this dist slash tutorial folder. So these are the files I need to serve uh, using that Node.js backend. The server is super, super simple. I just, I don't even have a Git repo yet. So the server will serve from a folder called a dist slash tutorial. Uh, you can make whatever directory. I use the dist slash tutorial to mirror this dist slash tutorial on the client side so I do not uh, get messed up later. I can uh, get confused. Yeah, so I use exactly the same folder structure. You don't have to, but I prefer to use the same directory hierarchy and name as the client front end to not get confused. So to summarize, I have Angular project in my client folder. When I build it, I get a bunch of compiled files under my dist tutorial folder. I will copy whatever under this dist tutorial folder from the front end to a dist tutorial folder on my back end. And then I use Express middleware to serve these files from that dist slash tutorial folder on the back end. That's how the Angular projects get served. It's very straightforward. Now let's visit Docker files. The Docker ignore, I ignore a whole bunch of stuff. So when I do the copy, I don't copy them. Obviously you wanna ignore the Git repo themselves. You wanna ignore the node modules under both the client node modules and the server node modules because these are installed using ng install, npm install. You do not need to copy the um, files and also ignore a bunch of other stuff like readme license. You, obviously you can expand on this list, but the big guy actually is the node module and the git. Yeah, these guys, you need to ignore the other files are not very big. Yeah, but for Docker image, of course, the smaller, the better. So after this Docker ignore file, um, let's take a look at the Docker file itself. So I use the three step build, which is very straightforward and simple. And the first step, I use the Alpine Linux node version 14, um, which is, of course, a download from Docker Hub. This Alpine Linux is very small. The Alpine Linux itself the image is like five something megabyte. And with the Node.js version 14, it's still relatively small. Yeah. So based on this base image, I call this first build step client build. And I create a folder called app. So this folder is a folder under your Docker image. It's not a folder that you can find in your local file system. Under the app folder, I copy everything Angular to that app folder and including the package JSON files. And of course, this node module itself will be ignored. They will not be copied. And then I install the packages and then I build this Angular project based on uh, uh, the Angular project. I would compile these files, dist tutorial. After the ng build, I will have these compiled Angular project under this dist slash tutorial folder. And I need to use node underscore modules slash dot bin dot ng build because in the Docker, I do not have Angular CLI installed globally, so the ng build will not work. So I have to use this node module, the ng build. That's the ng CLI installed with my Angular project. Of course, you can use ng npm install global at Angular CLI um, in your Docker, but I don't think it is necessary because you're not going to do any development work under the Docker image. So just leverage the Angular CLI installed with your Angular project will be sufficient. And you can, of course, build for production or build for development. Doesn't matter. Yeah, whichever you want. So that's the first step. You copy your Angular files and you build this dist tutorial uh, compiled files. The second step is called server build. You copy all your server files, your uh, server.js and package JSON. So this package JSON on the server side, I just use the express. In production, of course, you will copy a whole bunch of other packages like uh, cores or uh, whatever. Yeah, but here it's so sim simplification. I just use the express. Um, now, under the server folder, let's look at Docker Docker file. I copied this server files under under 
another app directory. Again, I named the base directory as app for the second step build. This app is different from this app. They are the separate app folders for different Docker images, not the first step app. Yeah, I copy the server JavaScript files and package JSON file. Then I copy the build or compiled client. Uh, this guy, this tutorial, these files. I copy these compiled Angular project into a uh, dist tutorial directory on a server project. So this guy app dist tutorial refers to the app dist tutorial from the client side, this folder. And the second app dist tutorial as a folder from the server side. They are different. Um, I used exactly the same name and hierarchy, but you do not have to. You can call the first step uh, the folder like client. You can call the second step the folder server. You do not have to call them the same name. And you do not need to use the same folder directory. On the server file, you can serve uh, the Angular project from a different directory than the dist slash tutorial. Um, I happen to use the same name, just to, I want to keep things consistent. So it's personal preference. So after you copy the front end compiled Angular project to this dist tutorial file, you will run npm install. Install the express and whatever packages you need. And here use double hyphen production because you do not need to install those development dependencies because you're not doing development work in the Docker. The third step is completely optional. I built a naked Alpine Linux uh, image. This is the base image. And I installed Node.js manually with no cache. The reason is that the smallest Node.js version 14 Alpine image is over 70 something megabytes. It's still big. Uh, once my Angular project and Node.js project got compiled, all I need is something that can understand JavaScript. So I do not need all the packages and stuff. So since the code has been compiled, so what I did is just to create a bare bone Alpine Linux distro with a image with the Node.js installed. And I have no cache option to remove the temporary files to further reduce the, uh, the image size. Then I just copy from the server directory to my third step. That's fairly simple. OK, so I copy the files from the second step build into my third step build. And then I expose port 3006, which is the under my server file. You can see I serve it on port 3006. So that's pretty much it. The whole three step build process. The command to run is node server. So the command that builds this image is docker image uh, build hyphen tag. I call this guy ray angular three and the content is the current working directory. So dot. Once you run this line of code, you will get a new image called ray slash angular three. Now to run this docker, uh, you can just use docker container run. You can publish the port. Um, I use 3030 on my host environment to map it to 3006 on my um, client environment and then run Angular 3, this image. And you can see that is served under this directory here. Um, port 33, you have this Angular app. So that's the whole process. Thank you. How about your, your